Now that it's winter time up here, I thought it'd be a good time to come up here and change the oil in the John Deere tractor. I'm so busy with it in the spring and the summertime that I don't have time to change the oil and stuff. So now that it's cold outside, we're not using the tractor, now's the time to get the oil changed in it. So let's go get that done. Welcome back. Today we're up north and we're gonna change the oil in the John Deere tractor. We've already got a bucket down there ready for us so I can loosen the bolt up. We'll have to take off this side guard here on the side of the tractor to get to the fuel filter which is right down here which will be right down in this area which will be right down in this area here and we're gonna we're gonna start it up first let it warm up a little bit since it's it's about 38 degrees here in the pole barn i've got the heater over there running warm the place up a little bit but we're gonna start the tractor up get it warmed up a little bit so that oil will come out easier it says it takes uh, 5.4 quarts i believe and so i've got a gallon and two quarts over here and a new oil filter for it so let's get to it. kind of loud over there so I'm gonna let it run for a little bit let it warm up and then we'll shut it back off and we'll get uh, draining the oil out of it and replacing the uh, oil filter on it all right now that we got it warmed up a little bit there's a tab here we got a pull that pops off right there and then there's another tab right here that we just twist and then this whole side you can see how it just rests down there on bumpers there's a bumper right here. There's a bumper right here that it rests on. And there's another one right down, right down there that it rests on. So it just kind of lifts out of there. And that's how the side, that's how the side comes off. And now that that's off, you can see that our oil filter is right here. So we gotta take that off. But we gotta drain the oil out of it first. And we'll take this off and then we'll fill it back up with new oil and uh, put a new filter on it. It's as simple as that. It's kind of like changing the oil in a car. And then right here is where we fill it back up when we're done. So right here underneath the tractor is where the oil plug is. I've already loosened it up so I can just hand twist it now. that's done draining we'll replace the oil filter too and we'll fill it back right back up right there so now that we have all the oil drained out of it I'm gonna go ahead and put the plug back on it I'll tighten that up let's move this oil out of our way Tighten this up. That's good and hand tight. We'll check it again when we start driving it. I actually want to get a new uh, plug for it. That one's starting to look pretty stripped out. It took a little bit for me to get it off, so 
I will look into getting a new plug for it. And then right here, I'm going to put the bucket underneath here. So when the oil comes out of this, this is our oil filter. And I loosened it up a little bit with the oil wrench already. I'm going to take that off. Let that drain out. And after all that's drained, we will put the new filter back on it with some new oil on the seal. And then we'll fill it back up. <clears throat> you can see right here in the manual with the oil filter filled up, it holds 5.3 liters of oil. That's a little bit over a gallon and a quart. So I've got one gallon of Pro Plus 50 oil here and I got two quarts of the same. And so that's what we'll fill it back up with. First, we've got to put this new oil filter on here and we'll take a little bit of the oil, the new oil, and we'll put it around the seal here first. So I can put a little bit of the new oil on my finger Rub that around on the sill, get it all good and lubricated. And then we'll put that back on. So it goes right back on here. Just spin it back on. Get it hand tight. Probably about as tight as I can get it with my hands. I'm going to wipe off this oil that spilled a little bit here on the side. And then we'll fill it back up. Alright, our new oil goes in right here. Take the cap off of it. Get a funnel in here. Pull that up. Here's our first court. the gallon Here's the gallon. And then we should need a little bit over half of that other quart. That should be good. So here's the last quart. We've got about half of that in there. And then we'll check it. Let's put the fill cap back on it. That on there hand tight right and right here is the dipstick so we'll take that out we've got oil in there now looks like it's up in the marks so that's good we're gonna go ahead and start it up and let it fill up the uh, oil filter and then we'll check it again
All right, we let it run there for a minute. Let's wipe this off one more time and let's see how the oil looks. There we go, it's up in the hash marks. Now that we changed the oil, the side plate will go back on it, just the exact opposite. We took it off. It'll hook on this notch here and that notch over there, right here. And so we'll just slide it back in there. These will fit back in the grooves and we'll twist them tight. So here is the side piece. It just sits down on them. So you can see right down here, it's sitting down on that one. And then over there, it's sitting down on that one. And then it just pops up to where these uh, pieces are here. Turn it sideways and put it down flat. Same over here. Slide it in there. Turn it sideways and put it down flat. And the sides are back on. All right, there you go. There's a little change on the John Deere tractor. The only, the only other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it back up, let it get up to, let it really warm up the engine so that seal on the oil filter seals up nice and tight. Otherwise we're, otherwise we're done with it for now and we'll be ready for uh, next spring. So she sounds good and the oil pressure light is not on, so we should be good to go. Yeah, this uh, heater here works pretty good. It heated it up here pretty well. I've let it run in here most of the time. I left the door over here open to let some oxygen get in here so we don't run out of oxygen. And if we look at the thermometer over here, if you look at the thermometer over here, we got up to 43 degrees. It's 28 degrees outside, 43 in here. I'm sure if I let that thing run longer, it would warm it up even more. So that's pretty cool. I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'd love to have you and we'll see you guys next time.